Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. This is Lior Alexandra's disembodied voice speaking and today we're going to do a milk and eggs and a Trader Joe's haul. We're going to focus on vegan dairy and then I'm gonna show you all the vegan things I get at Trader Joe's and then a separate milk and eggs haul at the end. I hope you guys enjoy this. I get a lot of requests for this, so let's get going. First of all, I wanted to demystify vegan dairy for you guys because I know that everybody's really concerned about what I do without cheese, what I do without milk, what I do without eggs. And to be honest, when I first became a vegan, it was hard, it's difficult to go without these staples that you have your entire life. But I got rid of milk when I was about 18. So when I became a vegan, I'd already been without milk for five years. So that's not difficult. Almond milk is extremely easy to get used to and there are so many different types of milks. It's very difficult to not find something that you can change, exchange your dairy, your cow milk for, which is really, really not good for you. I tell people this all the time and it really sticks to them. Cow milk is baby cow growth fluid. It's meant to turn a 65 pound baby cow a calf into a 700 plus pound cow that's what that fluid is supposed to do it's supposed to fatten a baby cow up make it strong make it grow is that what you should be drinking not to mention all the disgusting things in there like blood and puss let's get into the actual yummy things sorry if i grossed you guys out with that but it needed to be said so let's start with this all of this most of these things i think that just this only this is from Trader Joe's. The rest of this is all from Milk and... Oh, this is also Trader Joe's. The rest of this is all from Milk and Eggs. If you guys live in LA, I have a $20 off promo code. Just use my name, Leor Alexandra, on, at milkandeggs.com. I don't get like uh, paid for that or anything. They just are very nice and send me some cool vegan stuff. I've been with Milk and Eggs for a very long time. I've had a chance to try out basically all the vegan things that they have by now. This haul, you know that everything I've tried here is perfection. It's delicious. Can't go wrong by ordering any of these things. I will also add a little milk and eggs haul at the end of this video, but we're gonna do the dairy, then we're gonna do the Trader Joe's vegan haul, then we will get into the milk and eggs. Does that sound good? Good? Nice. By the way, shout out to Gumi. These hair ties are the best. Also not sponsored, guys. <laughs> but they're just really good hair ties. They don't leave uh, crinkles in your hair. And I put my hair up all the time, you know that. So it's good for me. So a lot of people are concerned about their morning coffee. Look at this dairy-free almond milk creamer. This one is unsweetened because I don't like a super sweet coffee. It's great for people with, who are lactose intolerant or who just wanna be a little bit healthier. And of course, vegans. And then we have almond milk from Khalifa Farms as well unsweetened vanilla now for the cheeses this is the best part honestly kite hill okay so vegan cheeses i'm going to admit used to be gross but they have taken it to another level they've really really improved so this is kite hill um some of my favorite restaurants in la are now using kite hill on their pizzas and in their pastas and it literally just tastes like clean regular cheese and it's kind of like feta cheese i would say now we also have it in soft fresh truffle dill and chive so this is mykonos this is vegan mozzarella look at it this looks like regular cheese yes it is a little bit more expensive but honestly would you rather spend a little bit more money on good food to put into your body now or spend that money in the hospital when you're sick because of dairy and animal products later. So this is a fresh Italian style vegan mozzarella. It's cultured, it's organic, it melts bubbles, browns, and slices. It's great for pizza and caprese. Then we have the same brand, the double cream chive. Wow, stop. So if I was to entertain, if I was to have like girlfriends over for wine and cheese and crackers. I would say I'm pretty set, right? We have everything we need, we're, we're good. So Kite Hill also makes cream cheeses. These cream cheeses, listen, diet cream cheese doesn't taste like cream cheese. Trader Joe's cream cheese, the vegan one, I'll show you guys later. Not as much, but still, it's just, it, it tastes better than the diet, but it's still not cream cheese. This is cream cheese. 
minus all the negatives that cream cheese comes with. This is the cream cheese style spread chive made from almond milk and I got the jalapeno one, even better. Now you guys have seen these in a lot of my milk and eggs haul. These are the Brothers products. These are really easy to make also if, if you can't get your hands on this. And Trader Joe's has the, uh, a vegan garlic spread. You can get that if you have a Trader Joe's around you and just mix it with some basil. Sun-dried tomato garlic one. You guys have seen those there. I put them on bread and I use them a lot in cooking. Let's move on to shredded cheese. Now, I'm going to be honest here. Shredded cheese, I haven't had a great experience with it. The Trader Joe's vegan mozzarella style shreds. These are really good when you cook them at a really, really high temperature. These melt even better and they have a better taste. These are from uh, Milk and Eggs. It's Parmela Creamery aged nut cheese. Let's go to yogurt. You can also have yogurts as a vegan, guys. Forager dairy-free organic cashew gurt. It tastes like strawberry gogurt. It has probiotics. I'll have usually like this much when I feel like having some. So sometimes I'll make a yogurt bowl out of it. I'll put a little bit of the cashew gurt and I'll top it with granola, nuts, coconut shreds, fruit, uh, cacao nibs, cacao powder. Then we have the So Delicious. This is more available for people. I got these also for milk and eggs, but this is more available in nationwide in other, in America at least, in other markets. So Delicious brand is the best one I've found so far. I don't like the Kite Hill yogurts, to be honest. Kite Hill does this really well. I don't like their yogurts, their almond yogurts. This is strawberry. Uh, strawberry banana actually. Butters, a lot of you may be familiar with this, especially if you're kosher or halal. I'm not sure if halal actually, but this is just vegan whipped buttery spread. I even have eggs, guys. You've seen this in my other vlogs. This is the Follow Your Heart vegan egg. This can be used to replace eggs in recipes, but so far I've made it as a scramble. It smells like eggs. When you open it, it smells like eggs, and when you cook it, it smells like eggs, which I don't love. But I think that they did that to like make people feel more like they're having eggs. It looks just like this. It looks like scrambled eggs. It takes a little bit longer to make than regular eggs, but it's worth it. It's not bad for you, and it's a good source of fiber, calcium, and it's low in sodium. Of course, as usual, I got all my Butter Booch Kombucha from Milk and Eggs. If you're in LA, the only places you can really get this is Erewhon and Milk and Eggs, as far as I know. Okay, now it's time to get to the Trader Joe's food haul. Let's start with the frozen things. We use these beefless ground beefs from Trader Joe's. They're vegan in everything. They brought back the vegan mochis. You guys, these are so good. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Edamame, I have this all the time. I will put sriracha and lemon and garlic on it. And it's just so, it's such good source of protein. That nine grams of protein for half a cup. Original sausage Italian. This is so good to cut up and put not only in pasta, but in soup. My mom and my grandma make this lemony Syrian soup. It's called chamont. I don't know if anybody here knows what that is. And we add this to it and it's so, so good. Oh yeah, it says you can add it to soup. Dr. Prager's burgers are really, really good. It tastes like you're doing something good for your body, even though it's like a frozen food. Partners, I hear. <clears throat> That's over, better. I got the high protein veggie burger. I have never tried it before. I want to check it out. It's pea protein. Each burger has so much protein in it. Then the vegan tikka masala. You guys know I love it. You can tell how excited I was about it. Organic tofu, staples in any vegan kitchen. Let's go to some produce. So kale and arugula and also lettuce. Those are staples in our fridge. Avocados, of course. Lemons. We usually get lemons from my grandma's tree, but she was out. Mini bell peppers, some organic red cabbage and green cabbage. More red peppers, broccoli, bananas, cucumbers, organic cucumbers. We have cherry tomatoes, artichoke, strawberries, and blackberries. These were really sweet. Some dried cranberries to top smoothie bowls. These rosemary Italian style crackers are really good. They're vegan. Red lentils, necessity, so much protein in these. 
And I love the organic lentil pasta as well. Brown rice spaghetti pasta, always have that on hand. Some microwavable jasmine rice. Onion bagels, savory rice crackers, they're gluten free. Some Israeli couscous. I think I'm gonna make some today. That looks good. My favorite sourdough bread of all time is Trader Joe's Crocked Wheat Sourdough. Then we got some organic white corn tortilla chips. Minced garlic, we usually get a bigger one from Costco, but needed it in a pinch. And some olive top and on spread. Diced canned tomatoes, good to have on hand. Roasted garlic marinara. I usually make my own sauce, but I got these to make pink sauce with whenever I'm craving it fast. All these tomato paste and diced tomatoes and organic black beans. Too easy to have on hand and to get your protein from. Some organic kidney beans as well. Green chilies for cooking. This is the best garlic flavored olive oil. It's quality. Mediterranean hummus. I usually like to make my own, but this one is good for when I don't have the energy. And their vegan cream cheese is good for making the pink sauce that I was talking about. Uh, this is schuk sauce. It's really good, actually. And they have a vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Pesto is usually not vegan. Peanut butter. I like peanut butter. That's just peanuts. This is just dry roasted peanuts. And their organic strawberry fruit spread. This is jam. That tastes so good and it's sweetened by fruit, no artificial sugar. These are the teas that I drink from Trader Joe's. I get the jasmine green tea, pomegranate white tea, and when I want caffeine free, we have the red refresh herbal tea. While we're here, let me show you what I drink on a daily basis. This is green tea blueberry slim life by Yogi and a traditional medicines valerian brew tea. This sends me straight to bed, guys. And I love matcha lately. I've been drinking this one from Milk and Eggs. And then I got some snacks. The maple leaf cookies from Trader Joe's are incredible. They're vegan and it, don't try them if you don't want to get a, a, addicted. Also, speculose cookies, my new favorite. And I think that's it, guys. Altogether at Trader Joe's, I spent $180 around that. But we got things for like the rest of the month, so it's not too bad. Trader Joe's is decently priced. Harmless coconut water, my favorite coconut water. Some organic aloe water. These shots. I got some ceremonial grade matcha. Kimchi from Farmhouse Culture because we gotta get those probiotics in. And then we got some cherry tomatoes, some blueberries, a bit of ginger, celery, some lemons, bowls, kale and beets. And these <coughs> enoki mushrooms because I like to put them in my ramen. What's really cool about milk and eggs is they have these packages of like vegetables and produce so it's this one is the detox package and they just have a bunch of different types of fruits and vegetables that come together and they give them to you at a discounted price so that is my milk and eggs haul For breakfast is two avocado toast on sourdough bread sriracha a little bit of garlic olive oil chili lime seasonings sea salt and black pepper and then my drink is Green tea, chia seeds, a little sweetener. Um, I use agave and apple cider vinegar. This is dinner, red lentil pasta, marinara sauce um, from Trader Joe's, just roasted garlic or something. Gardein meatballs, two of them, arugula and cherry tomatoes. This all has probably 36 to 40 grams of protein. 